I really, really enjoy Cleo Wade. She's been called the millennial Oprah. She's the latest it girl and internet sensation, inspiring a generation of women one post at a time. Tell me about this first poem that you posted on Instagram. I was like, well, you know, it'd be kind of interesting to take photos of my notebook and actually just take photos of the ideas or the poems or the words that were helping me through my day. 29-year-old Cleo Waite is a poet with a modern-day approach, sharing her writings post by post on Instagram, hoping her words connect with her followers. What would it look like if you treated every single person in the world as if they were your best friend? Wade writes about love, self-confidence, and positivity, striking a chord with nearly half a million followers. And Hollywood celebs like Katy Perry and Reese Witherspoon are leading her fan club. It was definitely um, one of those moments where you have to believe in yourself even more than the people who believe in you. That's and good. So, um, yeah. You have to believe in yourself more, even more than the people who believe in you. Yeah. Ooh, that's good. You are a writer. She has collected her messages in a new book, Heart Talk, Poetic Wisdom for a Better Life, inspired by fans who send her hundreds of emails a day, grateful for her support and seeking advice. I feel like if you could make a book a best friend, that's really what I hoped to do, allow it to be there for you uh, in your life and, and use it as you need to. That's why I made it. And when did you realize the gift of writing? Well, I went to poetry summer camp as a little girl. But I think also when you grow up in a place like New Orleans, you are, it's so instilled in you and it's so fundamental that you should express yourself. Wade grew up in New Orleans, her mom a chef and her dad an artist. Cleo's parents divorced when she was six, but they inspire her work. I think because at an early age I was taught to really accept people the way they were because my parents had these like amazing kind of just big spirits. At 17, after she landed an internship at the fashion company in Missoni, she picked up and moved to New York City, later landing a job as an office manager at Halston under CEO Bonnie Takar. I had an internship and I had an amazing female mentor. She was the first female CEO I ever saw and it definitely had a deep impact on my life. She began posting Instagram affirmations in 2014, some calling her poems Hallmark cards for millennials. We are all more than our mistakes. And today she is a sought after speaker at national conventions and TED Talks on social issues, advocating for criminal justice reform and canvassing for several female candidates during election season. All we have to do is show up for our kids. And she believes that begins by giving back. Are you all excited about the gala? Wade volunteers for the Lower East Side Girls Club, an organization that provides services for girls from lower income families. Of course I cried. I'm like, I, I cried when I saw it on Instagram. I come here because I live two blocks away. We can all find some place in our neighborhood at least to go show up. And teaches storytelling at the Women's Prison Association. I think it's so important for me to make sure that along the way I talk to my audience, especially the young girls, about the journey because all you can hope is that they can use your template as a starting place and then of course bust it open and do something 10 times more amazing than you ever could. And every summer, Wade sets up her Are You Okay booth where she is there to just listen. It's this free, peaceful and loving conversation and I set it up at around 9 a.m. It's very inspired by Lucy from the Peanuts except I don't charge. Oh, I love that. And so I'm usually there for about 10 hours and um, I just listen and people come and talk to me throughout the day and it's honestly probably one of my favorite things I do. Inspiring people with the written and spoken word and creating art to create change. We all have the power to do one kind thing in one way so whether you know sometimes smiling at your neighbor is just as important as going to a march for whatever you believe in. There are everyday heroes walking amongst us constantly if we're willing to listen to their stories. So I will tell you, Cleo is working on a new book and continuing her service work in the community. I didn't even name all the places where she volunteers, the, you know, the theater in Harlem or the National Black Theater, all these places. But the one thing that people really love, that booth that she set up, yeah, where she just amazing. sits there and people will line up in cities all over this country and they sit down and they just want to talk. Yeah. By the way, you would tell her your secrets. Mm -hmm. She has a yes. walk that radiates even watching I her right that. here. So all yeah. the best to her. That's sure. spirit. Yeah. That's yeah. spirit. It's yeah. just cool. sort yeah. of... About one of the most generous spirit. thing you could do mm -hmm. is say, I'll listen. And listen, right. I'll put up a sign, are you okay? Yeah. No one's sitting there if they're right. They are. Yeah. You know? right. so I'm going to hear you and yeah. spend this time with you. It's so precious. Thank cool. you, Chanel. Thanks, Thanks Chanel. Thank you.